What's good, collectives? It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's get right into it, collectives. Let's see what you got coming towards you for this great week ahead. Let's see what your energy is like, right? How you feeling? Okay, how you vibing? All right, so let's tap in. We're going to ask Archangel Michael, and we're going to ask Allegra to protect me, protect my mind, my body, and my spirit, to clear all my chakras, and protect me as I channel the most important messages for my wonderful collective today. I really love you guys. All right, so let's tap in. Let's see what you need to know. I'm also getting gold brown a bronze all right that is going to be the color for you like this color some type of like gold or bronze all right your spirit guides are suggesting you to wear those colors if you have any interviews if you have any important events all right though that color is going to be the color that's going to attract what you need Okay, for some of you guys, you might even need a citron or a tiger's eye. All right, this stone can really, really help you with whatever you're you're going through is what I'm picking up. All right, so let's tap in. I'm also hearing something is growing. Something is growing. All right. Wow. The medicine mother. All right, you are a medicine woman. All right, it is in your bloodline. It is in your heritage. This is one of the spiritual inheritances, inheritance that you have been given. You are a root worker. You work to heal. All right, you are an you are an embodiment of God. You are uh, an extension, just like but but it's your calling. Your calling is higher, divine feminine. All right, as we are rising, as the planet is rising in divine feminine energy, you are embracing that and you are producing back to Mother Kai. You are producing back to Mother Earth. See, the problem is we were so busy consuming from our God. We were so busy consuming and just taking the blessings and just taking the blessings and we wasn't reproducing back. Baby, you have became who you are. You are in your element. You have found your purpose. You have found your God. You have found your belief systems. You have found your passion. A lot of you guys have became spiritualists this year. Let me tell you guys, what I'm hearing is whoever you are, medicine woman, God had to make you strong in 2023. God is saying you had to be strong in 2023. But guess what? In 2024, God making you happy. God making you happy. All right. So you masculines out there. All right. Y'all might be meeting a woman. All right. That is really, really insightful. And very important. To your path, to your journey. All right, you have been aligned, my masculines out there. My divine masculine energy. You have been aligned with a medicine woman. This is somebody that's going to feed your energy. This is somebody that's going to help you through your emotions. This is somebody that's going to break down each wall that you have unknowingly built up around trust, around woman. This is somebody you're going to be attracted to when it comes to their spirituality and their belief systems because you know that their heart is open. For a lot of you guys, all right, as the medicine woman, all right, you've created a practice that allows you to enhance your magic. All right, but you are being honored right now. You are being honored right now for who you are. For some of you guys, if you guys have a practice in um, root work or spirituality, it has enhanced. A lot of people are honoring who you are and are sending people to you. You know, collective, they always say mothers always know best. 
All right. And they say that because sometimes it is true. All right. You are embodying, nurturing, mother-like energy. Somebody that's very reliable and dependent. All right. We all have that maternal figure, right? Who's extremely intuitive and insightful. And this is who you are. For a lot of you guys that's mothers out here, all right, not only do your children understand and feel that you know best, but they also know that you're extremely intuitive and insightful about your mission and about what you're teaching them. All right, you have went through many, all right, ups and downs right now. You have lived and you have lost a lot. You know what it's like to suffer and you know what it's like to want to give up. So this is the medicine that's coming from this car collective. The teachings and a medicine that's coming from this card is that it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to get it wrong sometimes. And it's okay for things to come and end, come and go. You are somebody that understands it's not the end of the world. It's just the end of one chapter and the beginning of something new. Embodying this, you know, this medicine mother energy, it reminds you that even though you will always have lows, sometimes we have low lows. We really aren't meant to suffer here. We are here to be supported and to support others. So allow this person, if this is not you, all right, to give their loving encouragement for the next step forward, all right? There's something about an old pattern. All right, that's rising up you in you now. And it's and you you feel like it's time to deal with it. You feel like it's time to release the old pattern for good. For some of you guys, you went to a medicine woman to like break you free from chains and bondages. You went to a tarot card reader for her to look past or him to look past your current situation. But what I'm really trying to say is that you guys are now seeking help and support to break anything that you feel like you can't break yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're investigating who can really help you with these things. And this is encouraging you to love and respect yourself enough to take the steps you know you need to take to move closer to where you like to be. See, truth requires change, baby. And a lot of us are fearful to really get real and to sacrifice the things that we really need to sacrifice to get where we need to be. It is not enough to just manifest and to dream. You have, you see, the universe doesn't give you what you want, collectives. The universe gives you who you are. So if you want something, you got to be that. You got to walk like that. Okay? Okay. You know what you need to do right now. You already have the answers or you already went and got the answers from somebody. All right. But you know what you need to do. Wow. That's amazing energy. All right. A lot of messages. For some of you guys, it's your jewelry that is different. You even dress different. All right. It is something about your unique attire, the adornment that you have. All right, big, big, big shout out to our medicine women's out there. For some of you guys, you can even work in a medical field. Okay, you are being used to work in a medical field. What? You a psychic. You a seer. That's it. For some of you guys, you tarot readers. All right, this is your gift. For some of you guys, you have embodied a gift from your grandmother. All right, or an ancient one, or a wise one in your bloodline. You were chosen to be the seer of the family. Remember, it is only one. Usually, it's only one seer of the family. It is only one, usually. 
and you have been chosen to be the seer of the family. For a lot of you guys, you might have got shunned for a little while from your family because your family didn't really understand this belief system. Your family didn't really understand this form of divination. They didn't understand how you were able to predict, predict beyond their current situation. They didn't know. For some of you guys, they probably thought you were motherfucking doing witchcraft. You hear me? Or something of the dark. But baby, you don't need eyes to see what's going on. Your, 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 your power and intuition, you feel. You don't need nobody to tell you what it is. You can feel what it is. You don't need nobody to say nothing. You can see past the words. You are energy reader. All right. You see people, you see past people's current situations. Your abilities are heightening. Your customer service is heightening. For a lot of you guys, a lot of people are being recommended to you because of the truth that you speak. All right. But this is a, this is a gift. This is a spiritual inheritance that's going to take you long and far in your life. This is going to make you a lot of money. It's going to bring a lot of people, build a lot of bonds. All right. When you have chosen to be a messenger of God and to be somebody of service. All right. By you tapping into the things that you can't see by you using your skills. Oh, baby, you done, you done made a shift. You done shifted into another dimension. You, you are in a whole new reality here. Okay, you are in a whole new, you are the seer of the family. So, y'all, this is a big deal. All right? You have raised your vibration. You have focused on love. You have focused on your passion and your skills to read energy well. All right? You are one of the people that is a part and that is leading this revelation and this revolutionary time right now. All right. By helping and guiding people back home. You hear me? By exposing and redirecting the enemy's plan. You are divinely protected. Again, you are you are somebody that is very dangerous right now because you don't need your eyes to see. All right. You know, most of us indigenous people, you know, we all have one seer out the family or tribe. This is you. All right. Seers are, you know, we are the intelligent and intuitive beings out the family who serve as a direct channel for information on what's occurring, what's occurring now and what's about to unfold. Our energy is you know, isn't about predicting your future, but more so about showing you how your intentions are affecting and creating your future. How the people and things around you are affecting and creating your future. Remember, when you're manifesting and when you want something to happen, the universe is not going to give you what you want, especially if you're not living in that way. All right. You know, you are a true one. You are somebody that will help others see that their intentions can change. You are somebody that will help others see that therefore, if their intentions can change, so can their motherfucking future. You know, the real message of this call collectors is to let you know. That you have roles within your clairvoyant abilities. God has risen you up. No matter how much times people try to keep you down. All right. You could see the way. You could feel the way forward. With your spiritual eyes. Not your physical eyes, baby. All right. Clairvoyance isn't just about, again, predicting the future. It's about being able to see clearly enough through the fog to create your best future because the you know the future is not always promising and the future is not always fucking clear but with the gift of vision with the gift of foresight you're able to see you know you've been encouraged by your ancestral gods and angels to see and they're showing you how to see beyond what you think is happening now. All right. Especially 
Thank you, spirit. So spirit is saying you're tapping in more to your spiritual eyes because this is Mercury retrograde energy. All right. Mercury is about to go in retrograde. This is the pre-shadow period. So a lot of things are deceiving to us right now. A lot of things are going to be confusing or mixed up. For a lot of you guys, you need to make sure you double back, double, double confirm what you're texting or emailing. This is a time of reviewing. You don't have any doubts. You are seeing yourself as no longer stuck or lost. You are energetically holding positive space for the universe. All right. Celebrating its path for you. All right. There's a lot of angels and a lot of angelic frequency upgrading your energy right now. So your experiences are more enjoyable collectives. You're living a very peaceful and enjoyable life. And this doesn't have nothing to do with money or material things. You are moving towards something that's extremely uplifting and enlightening for you, collectives, whoever you are. So stay calm right now and keep your eyes on the prize because there's a lot of rewards this week for you. A lot of rewards. A lot of rewards that you may not be able to see. And for others of you guys, you can see them because you are the seer. All right? For a lot of you guys that's not a psychic or the seer, yes, um, a lot of people are going to get readings. A, a lot of people are, you know, tapping into something spiritual this week. All right? Wow. You are being taught by a master. All right. You have a masculine energy that is a master at movement and action. You know, that's masculine energy, action. The feminine energy is more intuitive, more emotions. All right. You are being taught by a master masculine energy out of your bloodline. All right. For some of you guys, you are from some type of native or some type of indigenous tribe. All right. But there's a masculine and there's a feminine ancestral energy here. Where they are masters. You have one that's a medicine woman. And you have one that's a sh uh, Shalin um, master. This is somebody that's very graceful in their movement. Quick and motherfucking swift. You hear me? Both parties must know how to read energy well. So that way they can see what's coming before it even fucking come. Alright. You are being taught by a fucking master here. in their masculine energy when it comes to movement. You are being taught when to move, how to move, when to be at the right place at the right time to be that move. You are a movement. You are a whole movement is what I'm hearing. All right. You are completely embodying masculine and feminine energy. Okay. And that's how you become a real seer. All right. That is how you become a real seer. So, you know, this master, this guide, whoever it is, all right, you might even feel like a ninja. You might even be craving to do like some type of, you know, stance or stretch or, you know, you know, when I think about a ninja, I think about somebody that's very wise and somebody that's very alert, somebody that's very structured, all right, and, and balanced, this is all about medicine too, all right? It's all about learning to adapt to situations and to tap into the energy running through your body at that time and preserve that energy in order to release it at the right moment. You are being taught something about the right moment, when to act, all right? It also teaches about not being forceful, but also being forceful, all right? It's like a monk. Like you have respect for all things, so you expect that back. All right, you are being guided to flow like water with things, going with the flow. All right, connecting with your purest intentions. This is all about setting your intentions here. You don't need to feel like you need to rush ahead to anything. Actually, you might need to take a more gentler approach. 
that will serve you more fruitful and rewarding to your situation. All right. It's about moving with grace here. Okay. Even in your masculine and your feminine energy, it's ways to transmute your anger. It is ways to transmute different things in order for you to take action the right way. All right. You have reached a certain high, whoever you are. You are moving with the flow of life rather than pushing against the currents. And that's great. Okay? You're not moving nowhere fast. You right on time with something. Collect this. I am so proud of you guys. For real. I am really, really proud of you guys. All right, so... Let's start clarifying and then, um, Spirit, give me more about this medicine woman, please and thank you. All right, I think I need to use this deck. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. All right, spirit, give me more on this medicine woman. Y'all know when I get called to switch the deck, <laughs> there's definitely a message in here for you guys. All right, spirit, give me more on this medicine woman. This is masculine energy, like being a first seer, having that much power, that much responsibility. All right, that much freedom. You've been chosen to break the chains. All right, you literally are a master. You're being told by a master. And a medicine woman. You hear me? On how to move. You move different. You hear me? You, you are, your vibe is different. Your energy is felt. Even when you're not in certain places. Your name is being spoken of. In rooms you never even been in. Is what I'm hearing collectives. Spirit give me more on this medicine woman. Please and thank you. Wow. The moon call. You've been connected. Your, in, your praise are being answered, baby girl. You're learning how to fight spiritually. You've mastered that art of fighting spiritually. All right? You done tapped in. All right? A lot of people going around not knowing their purpose, not knowing what to do, not, not doing nothing. You are on your purpose. You done locked in. All right? You channeling your ancestors. Okay? You allowing these moon cycles to guide you. You are channeling. You are channeling right now. You know what you got. You know it's medicine for your soul. You know that going by the water, being around some type of open body of order, that's medicine for that soul. You hear me? You are using the natural remedies that is here on this earth instead of using something material. Child, you locked in with this moon card. This is all about intuition. The moon is the high priestess. Okay. You know, a lot of things, whoever you are, a lot of things was you were under some sort of illusion. There was a there was a there was an illusion here. All right. You had to tap in to to the to the to your skills and see past the illusions. All right, a lot of things weren't what they were seeming, and that's when you started to tap into something spiritual with this moon card. You started to ask for ancestors. You started to ask for revelations. You started to ask for spirit to reveal what was hidden to you. A lot of you guys may feel as though something. Or y'all felt like something was a little off. Even for some of you guys, you might even felt something was even off with a loved one. That was your guys. Okay? There was a lot of people acting funny. But you it was all hearsay. You was, you was getting a lot of hearsay. All right? But you always trust your intuition. It was always best for you to trust your intuition about a certain situation. All right? And to be extra observant while things unfold. Because you were right. You were right. 
okay? And it's also signifying like, um, you know, hidden things, hidden enemies, hidden agendas, hidden intentions. All right, so this is a big time for you collectives. When it comes to us, yes, yeah, yeah, your ability to medium between heaven and earth, to be on both sides, to be that communicator, to have that gift and that title. Spirit, give me more on this seer. All right, this this elder. All right, this medicine woman. Um, they come to you in their dreams. You feel them a lot. All right, you could think about this person and you start getting his on you like your the goosebumps. All right, they are around you in your energy and spirit. Oh my gosh, the high priestess. This is the Hera font, but y'all know I call this the high priestess in this card because they come. Y'all all the seer. You are different. You know what you came to do, and you are divinely protected everywhere you go. All right, there's a presence that's around you that's always watching you. You know, tapping into this energy, a lot of times we get attacked the most because we are redirecting the enemy's plan by tapping into the things that we can't see. So you know God gonna protect us. You know we we had people around us, even the people that you can't see around us 24-7. All right. There's no fear in you. God knew to use you for this reason. God knew to shed light on you for this reason because look at you. You are strong in your will. All right? You are strong as a messenger of God. You take that title proudly. You hold that title proudly. You thirsty for knowledge and wisdom when it comes to leading. Your throat chakra all the way open. This is also a card of higher learning. All right. You are being taught by a lot of gods. Look, you got the medicine mother. You got the hair font here and the master, Shalom. Okay. You are being taught. All right. This is all about you being a master student. Like you are a master student. You hear me? You hold a lot of deep wisdom because of who you connected to. You know, you are representing an archetype that can help others find relief and guidance because they can learn from your experience. This is all about experience here. All right. You are being taught by powerful people. This could also mean that you have collaborated or founding an institution that involves teaching others how to be a seer. For some of you guys, you might need to open up a class maybe where you could teach and others can teach others how to guide to like just trust their intuition. All right. But there's something about you leading an institution. For some of you guys, this is who you were in your past life. You are leading. You are royalty. Look at all this adornment. Like you were adorned. You were known for not being able. For some of you guys, you might have been blind your past life. For some of you guys, there, there might be a lot of things wrong with your eyes this lifetime. That's because you might have been blind. And now you can see this lifetime. But now because you was blind last lifetime, you done tapped into a whole different realm of being able to use sight. In a different way. You have transmuted. How you see things. Because your ass ain't have no eyes before I feel like. And this could be metaphorically. Or actual shit. But it's something about. Yeah, you not being able to see before. How you can see now. You hear me? And the reason why you couldn't see certain shit. Was because spirit needed you to trust your intuition. So you was blinded on purpose. I'm hearing. That's some deep shit. <laughs> you hear me? That's what I'm channeling. So now because you have the guidance. Of, of not being able to actually see things. That's helpful for people. It speaks about, you know, 
you know, got him society back to our purpose and our gifts and what what's it's what's needed to make that shift of abundance and financial freedom and just free from all bondage when it comes to this material realm. You are somebody that that has high standards and morals. You are somebody that speaks about how important that is within yourself. You also rebel. All right. You see that heart by the throat chakra. You also rebel on certain belief systems. All right. Because with this hierophant and this high priestess energy, you, you, you got to stay current. All right. You can't think that old information is going be what's needed. To, you got to stay current in your belief. You got to stay seeing what's 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 actually true and what's not. And that that comes with challenging certain beliefs, challenging certain things that you were taught. Because as you can see, we all reprogramming ourselves. You have reprogrammed yourself, and that take a lot. That take a lot of they take that take a lot of relearning life and who you are and your gifts. Like I'm hearing whoever you are, you are a master student. You are one of the students that, that these teachers, these master gods favor. A lot of gods want to work with you. You have three gods here right now as the seer. All right. These gods, these masters, I'm hearing archangels. They are lined up to work with you because they see how hard and how focused you are on your mission. And a lot of you guys reached a point where now you're not just thinking about your mission. You're actually living your dream because you've created a life for yourself where you doing something that you love, regardless of the money, regardless of the money. Once you're doing something that you love, the money going to come. And then you got to ask yourself, we asking for all this money. What do we really need all that money for? All right. And when you stop focusing on just needing money and really focusing on how to produce back. When you get that, what are you going to do? What are you going to do that's going to create a life for yourself where you don't feel like you're slaving for work? All that takes time to figure out. All that takes questions to ask yourself. That takes talking to yourself for real. Child, you set up, you a master student. You hear me? You done went blind and came back to motherfucking life. So now you're trusted with foresight. Spirit understands that nothing can tempt you no more. You hear me? Spirit understands that you have mastered the art of discernment. Where you judge character well. Not, by, not somebody's action. Not somebody's clothes. You judging character. You seeing past the facade. You seeing past the clothes. You seeing past the, the money and shit. You seeing a nigga so, cause that's what matters. Cause what's money to somebody that already got money? What's money to somebody that's already spiritually enhanced and risen up in favor? What's, what's money to somebody that, that's free from karmic debt? What's money? We out here living abundant here. You hear me? And when you live like that, think of King Solomon. All right, God bless him because he, he, didn't, he didn't keep asking for riches. All right, King Solomon did not keep asking for riches. King Solomon kept asking for the wisdom and the knowledge to guide the people the right way. And God said, because you didn't really ask for the, for the money and the things that you thought you needed, but you asked for the wisdom. Oh, baby, look how much he best King Solomon. Look, one of the richest people. Wealthy in mind, body, and spirit, and fortune. So, yeah, when it comes to certain situations, you got to be able to be that, see it, tap into that same energy and look past certain shit. Because there's a lot of illusions being casted nowadays. All right, but nothing can get past you. Like you are a mastermind is what I'm hearing. A lot of guys are reaching out to you. You might even feel like your energy like, like you're living through so much divine souls, like your, your divinity. And you might even be acting in different personalities, but more empowered. And you're realizing, damn, I never do this. I never say certain shit. I never even know what that word meant. These are your different ancestors that's living through you, making you say certain shit. All right, because they want to work with you so bad. 
Because they see you're fucking very focused about your shit. All right, this also can mean you, you, you're you taking a course or it's something about a course, collective. Like, if you are a reader, you need to offer or try to um, correlate a course for people. Believe it or not, people want to learn from you. They want to, they don't want to learn, Tara. They want to learn from you. They see something about your shit. Is you, you, you serious about your shit? Okay, damn. Do y'all see how that fell out? Okay. For some of you guys, you left the whole family. For some of you guys, you left the relationship. You left the marriage. All right. You left a starting of something. The Ten of Pentacles. I mean, the Ten of Cups is like you thinking that the life that you was living with somebody. All right. Even if you had children by them, you thought that it was your happy ending. Whole time. No, the fuck it wasn't. There was a, that was an illusion being casted. All right, that was an illusion. There was a lot of things that you didn't motherfucking know that was going on and you started to see. Once you slowed down, once you started to tap in, once you started to meet people that was able to help you trust your intuition, you start to realize, uh-uh, this is not my happy ending. This is not what the fuck God gave me. All right? You started to learn how to move and take action and when not to take action. Stop moving too fast. Started to read people well. Started to see how they childhood, how they treating their own kids. All right, this shit wasn't for you, baby. Okay, you done mastered the art of giving this shit back to the universe. I don't care if I have kids with this person. I don't care if I got married to this person. If I don't want this experience no more, all right, and I see that there's something better. All right, that's coming in. You could easily get that shit back up, all right, and give that, yeah, that manifestation back to the universe. Because why the fuck would you be in a relationship that you don't want to be in? Or that's not fulfilling to you? Or y'all not seeing eye to eye? All right? Or it's just the children involved? Why the fuck would you be in, in that relationship? Nope. You said, uh-uh. I'm finding somebody new. I'm finding myself. And if somebody new come along, then, then, then the more the merrier. You hear me? But this was solely a situation where you think what was coming. You saw past the illusions. There was no... You weren't stupid. You might have been naive to certain things because you just felt a strong top on family you were big on family but um and once you've mastered the art of detachment meaning if something don't work out even if you're sad you're able to process that emotion and still release it and just know that something better is coming once you can do that and reject this to the cups and be like well, I don't need to be rushing into no family type of environment because I know later down the line, my shit is coming. I know a person that really is on my level and that really is going to fulfill me and I can fulfill them. And it's a choice. Then I know my day is coming. A lot of people, believe it or not, when they have children or when they when they when they get into a contract, they fear of what's going to happen when they don't want to be with that person no more. And they stay in these relationships. And when they stay in these relationships, oh my gosh, it is disaster. But to show your guides and to show yourself that you can reject something and wait for something better and greater. Oh, baby, that's a master within itself. All right. They like, oh, yeah, we could teach this person. This person understands there's a certain type of faith you have with the universe. Like, I know my happy ending is coming. So, I'm not about to be settling for less. Okay? So, y'all, this week, this shit is about intuition. It's about trusting yourself and rejecting one offer for a new opportunity to come. All right? When one door closes, a big one open. And that's what I see for you guys. All right? You had to learn how to master action. And then you had to master intuition. All right? And that's why all these gods, when it comes to angelic support and ancestral Alignment is working with you. Not only are you a good student, but you're not afraid to reject something that is not feeling good to you no more anyway. All right. You are on a path to greatness. You are in your element. You are on your journey. All right. You have found your purpose. You are on your purpose. You found your God. You found your belief. You found your niche. All right. 
You are rising in the spiritual community. You are arriving. I say you are arriving. Y'all, y'all have arrived. Y'all have arrived. Y'all ain't here to play. Y'all here to stay, baby. Y'all here to guide your people back home. And within that, because you wasn't, you, you didn't keep asking for the money, but you kept asking for things that you, that brings you joy, baby. Oh, baby, the, 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 the richness is here. Look, the chariot. The chariot is Archangel Michael. Okay. This is success. You had to leave that. You had to leave that old family. And realize that you are more capable of loan alone. You are all you are more capable of being guided by your spirit guides. All right. For some of you guys, you might like animals. All right. But these are not regular animals that's around you. You think they dogs. You think they cats. You think that they birds or whatever you got that's around you. All right. These are your guides. Shape shifting. Okay, shape shifting. You never alone. You thinking you walking the dogs whole times. These are big ass ancestors. Shape shifting into a dog so they can be around you, baby. You always protect it everywhere you go. Spirit, spirit done laid out a yellow brick road for you. You in your own lane with something. You found your purpose. You found something that you're actually good at for the moment. And it doesn't require people to look over you and hound you. All right. You are walking in your purpose, baby. You are aligned. Child, the chariot is abundance. It's assured acceleration. All right. It is assured perseverance over any delusion or any conflict or any illusions that was casted upon you when it came to a relationship. It is assured success over conflict. It is overcoming this adversity of not having what you want. For some of you guys, you're the first person that is really going to have it all when it comes to a relationship because you didn't settle. A lot of your people in your family, a lot of people that's around you have settled because you didn't settle and because you chose to be a good student and the process of hurt and transmute that energy because you chose to not live your life in bitterness, but to learn a lesson. And that is to master the art of detachment because you don't know what the fuck is coming. And God is a big on miracles. Baby, you are the first person in your family that's going to be bragging about your, your relationship. That's going to be bragging about your happy ending. That was a choice between two people to fall in love and to create on fertile soil. All right. So, yeah. Um, all right, maybe I could use these now. All right, spirit. Um, give me more on this. Um, 10 of cups in reverse, right? What happened to um, this relationship that fell apart, or you know, leaving a certain damn 10 of wands? You felt overworked. You felt like everything was stuck on you. All of the responsibilities were stuck on you. And no matter if you are masculine, no matter if you are feminine, no matter how much money you make, things are supposed to be balanced in a connection. Things are supposed to be balanced in a relationship. And you was not, you did not, you felt like all the responsibilities were stuck on you. Your responsibilities, the children, the, the, the everybody's. And you, you said, no, you said, this will not be. All right. For some of you guys, somebody also got a reading from you and realized that the family that they was expecting to have or trying to ride it out with, uh-uh, they seen that it was an imbalance. They you you tapped into something. They the, the frequency wasn't matching. All right, just cuz you have a child with somebody or think that you know, this was is going to be a person forever. That doesn't mean it is. And when it starts to be like this, where you start to feel like you just a mat for things to be stuck on you. And these are major responsibilities. These are bills. This is work. This is homework. This is just a lot of things. This is your life. This is your personal life. This is your family's life. This is your family's family's life. And everything was stuck on you. Everything. So you chose to release that energy and, and separate. Okay, be the best parent you can. All right, 
do the things that you're allowed to do, all right, without stepping over any boundaries. But all that sticking responsibilities on you because you at a place in your life that that's that's dead. Mm -mm. That is over. Look, and because for some of you guys, this is masculine. For some of you guys, this masculine done met you. All right, and you have changed their life completely. Not only did you change their life in a romantic way, you have enhanced their belief systems in their self. You have shown them that their villain, their feelings are validated and should matter. You taught them something that nobody never taught them. And it's something that has to do with spirituality and your beliefs. All right, and because this person was aware of what was going on, they chose themselves, all right? And because they chose themselves, there's a karmic feminine energy that looks like a clown for trying to play a game in love. They try to win somebody and and, and, and and by playing a game. Love is not a game because a lot of people's feelings could get hurt. And a lot of unnecessary karma is built from that type of emotion. So right now, somebody lost. Somebody was all over the place with their heart and somebody literally feel like they lost. There's nothing else that they could do. There's no more responsibilities that you've taken from this person. This person looked like a clown to y'all. All right. Look, look at the look at two different energies. The chariot and the three of swords. All right. Y'all don't want a woman like this. That's um, this person that have red hair. All right. But y'all don't want a woman like this. That this person is angry. This person is crying blood. You hear me that y'all moved on. Whoever you are. Or they will be. All right. They are really, really angry that they're crying blood. You hear me? That somebody actually changed your life. Okay. Somebody actually changed you for the better. All right. We all needed a lot of help. We all need a little support. It's who we really could trust to take it from. All right, not a lot of people are trustworthy. And believe it or not, throughout my career, I've been shown that the people that don't really know you be the, be your biggest supporters. <laughs> For real. So, again, y'all left that relationship because y'all felt imbalanced and responsibilities. Everything was being stuck on y'all. And y'all was being inspired. For, for the fellas, y'all was being inspired. By a divine feminine energy that already know what they came to do. That they was already in alignment with who they were. And they was actually sent to give you that type of medicine for the soul. All right. And this person um, in a three of swords energy. Okay. Yes. Yeah, stuck. Ooh, devil. Ooh. Yeah. These, uh, there was a lot of people around you. All right. At work. And your bag, friends, all right, that were just trying to attach themselves to you because of your energy. It was a lot of attachments, a lot of attachments, a lot of unhealthy attachments that because you weren't making the right choice before, I'm, I'm feeling these masculines, all right, it caused you to feel way down. But all of that stopped. All of that stopped. All right, I do want to get another one on this karmic energy. All right, I want to see... Who is this in this three of swords spirit? Give me more on this three of swords energy. Damn. Do y'all see that? The queen of swords in reverse. So this is somebody that thought that they were smart. This is somebody that thought they had game. This is somebody that thought they had a situation in a bag like you wasn't going to never move forward. This is somebody that they just knew that they had control over everything and they came out in reverse. So this is definitely a karmic energy that has lost all control. All right. This is somebody that's very immature. This is somebody that likes drama. This is somebody that don't know how to come up with solutions, but are always key to the problem. This is somebody that held you back. All right. And for my women out here, this was a karmic ass friend. That was backstabbing and betraying and a queen of swords energy. You know, I always say, you know, in Tarot, we don't say bitch. We either say queen of wands or queen of swords. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, somebody was a bitch. Somebody was a backstabber. Somebody was two-faced and somebody was betrayal. You know, the ear signs, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, that's all about communication. That's all about your mind. All right. This person wasn't a mastermind of anything. 
And then Queen of Swords in reverse. All they was was a master at illusions. They were a master at lying. The Queen of Swords in reverse was a feminine, distorted, karmic energy that was a fibber. They were a pathological liar. All right. For a lot of you guys, they thought that their body or their sexiness will work. They, this person made themselves out to look like a clown. They're really, really embarrassed by their actions. Okay. And that's what it is. A queen of swords. All right. Wow. Look. The ten of cups. All right. This is see. This is what you got now. Somebody that's not trying to grow old with you, but rather keep that youngness and that youthfulness and that creativity. All right. See, this wasn't where it's at. This wasn't going to build, be built on a strong foundation. Y'all go into the movies here. Y'all created a whole movie here. All right. This is the picture perfect life that everybody desire, but don't know how to sacrifice the things to attract this life. All right. When I tell you, y'all are in the family energy. Okay. Of this is what God has in store for you. Look, Ace of Cops. This is a new opportunity, baby. This is somebody that's ready to pour into you. This is somebody that's going to open up the car door. Pour your own champagne. They don't want you to even lift a finger. You see how our God work and miracles? Once you're able to sacrifice what you thought was the Ten of Cups spirit. Spirit saying that wasn't your Ten of Cups. That was a false Ten of Cups. This is the real Ten of Cups. Where nothing is going to be forced. Everything is going to just feel right. And this person is crying blood to see you happy like this. Moved on with another family. All right. That's how our God work because everybody's supposed to be happy. It's always hard to fall in love, but it's hard to release that. All right. A lot of people don't know, again, how to give this up for something better. They stay in these horrible relationships because of grief being, being used as a doormat. To have problems stuck on every day. And to be walked all over. Alright. That wasn't an option for you guys. Y'all you, guys knew saying. Uh uh. I'm not doing this. There's a higher power here. That is adorning you. With this ten of cups. Because you deserve it. You trust it. Alright. You passed that test. You knew. Sometimes people be scared. Sometimes sometimes people don't think that. They gonna have another child. Sometimes people don't think that they're going to find a love that they once fell in love with. They don't think that. They think that this is it. But because you knew that this wasn't it and that you were worthy of a more full fulfilling experience, baby, that's what you're getting. The Ace of Cups to the Ten of Cups. This is your suit. All right, the cups. This is all about the cups. This is all about you learning how to sacrifice one thing, thinking like you knew what you wanted for something better, for you to actually trust. That may have came with a lot of nights crying. That may have came with a lot of nights of instability. But baby, you doing it with somebody that's loving you now. This is an equally yoked partnership where it's, it's going to be an always balance of responsibilities. All right, there's a lot of love here. It's the cups. So congratulations. This is what your answer is. You're, you're a master student. All right. You are very, you're a mastermind. Okay. And you were chosen to be the first seer in your family. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. I love you. And I'll see you next week.